Favorite products of 2020. Let's go. Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Yay, my favorite products of 2020. So this is an interesting day for me <laughs> because I'm gonna come out and accept that I have trouble letting things go. I'm super loyal, super picky. Like all my flaws are coming out in this one video and this one confession because first of all, my HD list doesn't change all that much as you guys know. And I try to keep it tight. Like I try to just stick to like really my favorites. Like I really can't choose between anything here basically so i try to just do the best of the best and keep it as tight as possible so that's part of why it doesn't change and clearly i have a problem letting go because a lot of things like i will still mention them as my hgs and they ain't been sold in a while so i'm promising you guys from next year <laughs> that anything that hasn't been sold in the last two years i'm gonna let them go and stop mentioning them and let them go from my heart i mean that's step two but at least i'll let them go from my lips okay i promise you guys from next time I'm gonna try to do better but this year especially like a lot of brands that had really good things just decided to stop selling like why you all do that these brands hurt me when they do that they really hurt me because it's always my favorites that they look to get rid of why 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 anyways I'm gonna accept I'm gonna accept it I'm gonna make peace meditate anyway this is getting really off topic like that's a whole other video, like for real. But okay, let's get started. <laughs> so the first cleanser that I'm going to add to the list is the Inasi Soothing Mint Sulfate Free Gentle Cleansing Shampoo. You guys know I love the shampoo. It is so moisturizing and so cleansing. And the mint is so soothing, so it's just perfect. It smells like heaven. It smells like mint chocolate chip. <laughs> it foams like so cutely. Like I saw bubbles when I was using it, like bubbles in the air. Like it was magic. It was a Nirvana experience. So if you want super clean, super moisturized, like slip, slip after rinsing, it was just everything. This is my favorite list. So that's going to be <laughs> how this is going to go. But clearly I love this. It is one of my HG shampoos. And I want to say right now, my number one HG shampoo, I want to give it that title right now. This is my main squeeze right now. Yeah, I'm literally my main squeeze because I squeeze a bunch of my hair. Anyway, anyway, you guys know I love the Blue Rose Creamy Rose Shampoo, but I'm no longer going to be mentioning it. Not after this year. I'm just mentioning it as a goodbye. Goodbye Blue Rose Coco Rose Shampoo. You haven't been sold for two years and I'm going to let you go. The Baskin Bloom Gentle Herbal Cleanser. So I love this. This has a nice herbal scent. It's not exactly shampoo levels. It is super moisturizing. It is very cleansing. But it feels like a co-wash to me. Like a cleansing co-wash. But moisturizing, amazing, everything. It just isn't quite as cleansing as the Inasi. So if you don't need it to be super cleansed this day. Because I don't always pull the Inasi either. It just depends on how dirty my scalp is, my situation. So if I don't need like my tier 1 cleansing, I reach for this. They both leave my hair like really super moisturized and defined for some reason. Like the definition isn't necessary in the shampoo. And I don't like fake definition. As in definition where it feels like they're particles sticking it together as opposed to just your clumps clumping. So don't give me the fake definition. But if my curls happen to pop, well hey. And if my hair happens to be like defined and kind of more laid as opposed to frizzed out, well hey. I definitely don't have a problem with that as long as it's the real deal and not the uh, feel like if product is making it stick together, is it detangled and claustrophobic help kind of situation. This does say sulfate free shampoo. And I would call it a shampoo because it's definitely more than the co-wash, but it feels almost like a co-wash. It's so gentle. I don't think I would want any one of them without the other so that's why they're both mentioned i love this but i wouldn't want to use this every week i would want if i want a gentle to use this so i kind of want both in my life so that's why they're both here <laughs> so my shampoo list is pretty short as you guys can see even though i've tried lots of shampoos i guess recently i'm trying more this year so hopefully i pick up some new loves this year we'll see you guys know last i said they say like if we're in 2021 already you know what i mean and I think I might keep saying that, should I? I don't know, whatever. You guys know what I mean. If I say this year, and I'm talking about next year, I mean next year. Okay. I'm 2021, yes, forget that. One more week, I got on my spaceship, okay? Because I just want 2020 to be over. <laughs> so you guys know that 2020 wasn't that great of a year for me in terms of trying out new products. Other than She Scented, Ujuri, and Gorgeously Kinky, which are all kind of similar brands. Everything else I tried was like 
they had to find to hex no to help to scream so my list is very similar to last year other than mentioning those brands that i just mentioned spoiler alert so on to co-washes camille rose naturals caramel co-wash is still my number one number one in co-washes just because it just blows my mind and there aren't a lot of products that blow my mind i have tried hundreds of products and maybe about 20 blow my mind out of like 500 or something i don't know let's say 250 <laughs> out of 250 maybe 20 blow my mind and this is one of those because it's just insane to me how clean my hair feels and how moisturized that like is the perfect like i said all in one if i could only use one product total in my hair i would use this because this for me is super cleansing for a co-wash but it's super moisturizing conditioning defining and everything so i can imagine if i had to this would be the product that i would use to cleanse and then like just leave in or something it would be this because it's just amazing i don't know why and how it's so amazing but it is it's just that old camille rose pink line moisture like i find this is the best camille rose line to me for me for my hair so it's that old pink line moisture with some great cleansing and a great scent it has the cocoa betaine for cleansing but then it has like the aloe vera juice and btms and glycerin and caramel for moisture but then it has like the hydroxyl ethyl cellulose and guar gum for definition so it's just trying to do everything and it somehow manages to do everything so this is a dream and i haven't used it recently on my channel i'm gonna go back and see if i can find a video with it or i do want to probably just do an old school throwback and do camille rose like yeah if i had to do an old school throwback it would be this camille rose pink line one of my first lines and my first loves in terms of like natural hair brands now for the co-wash sister wives, I have the She Scented Green Tea and Ginseng co-wash and the She Scented Blueberry co-wash. So I love both of these. I feel like the ginseng one is slightly, leaves my hair slightly cleaner and just a lighter feeling. This one, the Blueberry co-wash, leaves my hair clean as well and just kind of a more moisturized, like conditioner type, light conditioner type feeling. So again, it kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. I haven't been co-washing lately. I used to co-wash kind of once a week and shampoo every couple of weeks, but then I got into shampooing every week. So my eventual dream, if somebody would just give me a million dollars, I don't have to like work anymore. <laughs> my dream would be to do like a midweek co-wash with these kind of things and then shampoo once a week. That would be like goals. I just never have the time to live that life. Like I wish I could do my hair twice a week. I just wish I could. Just don't have that kind of time but one day one sweet day and i do love these co-washes and then the blue rose beauty soap berry co-wash is also one of my favorites this is just like super cleansing super moisturizing it has like a light fresh clean happy scent i don't know how to describe it like i kind of mentioned chalk if you like to eat chalk i guess not me i never ate chalk but if you like a chalk eater and chalk did it for you it has like a really light fresh powder like talc not fragrance but just talc or chalk so i want to say that this is probably the most cleansing of the co-washes that i mentioned I love my co-washes to be balanced, like I don't want it to be too moisturizing and not cleansing enough, I don't want it to be too cleansing and not moisturizing enough. So all of them are pretty near the balance, but this is on the kind of clean, to the clean side, whereas the ginseng co-wash I think is right in the middle, and then the blueberry is like, oh, uh, to the moisturizing side, and the caramel co-wash is like, oh, uh, to the moisturizing side. I won't really necessarily have to describe this tree scented scents because you guys know the plum nectar and agave is kind of more fruity juicy curls is kind of more fruity but most of them have a kind of fruityish candyish scent that's like the tree scented scent and everything smells amazing but in that range and then special mention to the tree scented passion fruit and flax like charcoal scalp detox this is like my favorite scalp detox it's not really like a sub in the co-wash category it's my favorite scalp detox but it's like my only scalp detox so i guess if i had a scalp detox category which i guess i do now this is my hg in it and it's my favorite this one made me run out of the bathroom screaming because it was so amazing my hair was clean my hair was moisturized my hair was defined i felt like if i did a clay treatment but it was a lot less messy my curls were popping this was amazing it felt like if i didn't need to deep condition and my hair was, was like amazing yeah check out the review video Moving on to deep conditioners, my favorite HG best deep conditioner of 2020 is now no longer sold because Gorgeous Licking Kitty decided to redo their whole brand, but I'm going to include it anyways. 
because this was another mind-blowing experience. The pomegranate agave moisture boost hair mask. This deep conditioner is my only 10 out of 10 deep conditioner ever on my channel, ever in deep conditioner. So I had to include it. It's not sold anymore. I do want to try the new line. They didn't have a Black Friday sale. I'm expecting they will have a sale in the new year for sure. And I'll be on it like white on rice. Trust and believe. Don't watch how big moustache is because I'm buying it. Like Gorgeously Kinky and Sultanicals, especially Gorgeously Kinky, will see me for sure next year. Sultanicals, also, if they come good, I might get the few things I want to get. I mean, moustache is starting to look real big, but... Because I haven't put away my Black Friday stuff yet. When I mix it, when I put everything together, it might be a lot. But Gorgeously Kinky is still getting a buy. Because it's only like pretty much just a wash day. I mean, well, not a wash day, but you know what I mean. It's going to be like four things I'm gonna buy or something, I'm buying it because I wanna see if this new, the new deep conditioner is just like this one or just as good. We can't have a 10 out of 10 and just let it go bye bye. Definitely, I love this 10 out of 10 HG best deep conditioner of the year. My number one in deep conditioners. So the deep conditioner sister wives would be everything she scented. And you guys know I always say everything she scented in terms of like deep conditioners. Because I love the She Scented Deep Conditioners and they are like the best deep conditioners out there. Minus this gorgeously kinky. She Scented is next in terms of amazing. She Scented is like my 9 out of 10s pretty much. I just wanted to mention them by name because usually I just say everything She Scented. Let me put some respect on it and mention them by name. I love the Plum Nectar and Agave hair mask. I love the Passion Fruit and Flax hair mask. The Juicy Curls hair mask like is the most moisturizing hair mask in the world. This is more moisturizing than the Gorgeously Kinky. This made me feel like if I was underwater. That's the only way I could describe how moisturized my hair is. You know if you're underwater and it's just full of water, full of moisture, just floating, silky. This was that. So if you're looking for moisture, definitely give this a shot. Like let's say this is like an 11 out of 10 on moisture. Gorgeously Kinky was like a 10 out of 10 on moisture and a 10 out of 10 on slip. Whereas this may have been like an 8 out of 10 on slip. And you know how I like to apply my deep conditioner just all in one go and rake through. So I don't really detangle with it, but I like to rake through with it. So I need deep conditioners with slip. And of course, like I said, this is in my HD list, it had great slip. It was just like a little bit less than the Gorgeous the Kinky in terms of slip. I guess back to more sister wives. These are like 9s in terms of moisture and in terms of slip. And this is the Pomegranate Pear Restorative Hair Mask. So it says restorative, but it's super moisturizing. Like, I don't even think about protein when I'm using this. Although it does have some hydrolyzed wheat protein at the bottom. And then the She Scented Rich Moisture Mask, which is like one of my, I wouldn't say my first, but my second love. I don't want to talk about the banana brulee because I'm trying to be better and let things go. But after the banana brulee went away, there was this for a long time as my favorite. Like this on the Curl Moist. Before she came out with all the new stuff, like if you've been using She Scented for a long time, you know this was the stuff. And this is still awesome. So I want to do some She Scented videos. I just don't want to like flood you guys with She Scented videos. Because I have so much She Scented products and I love them, but I don't want to just be doing She Scented all the time. I want to show you guys some variety and she ain't paying me either. <laughs> Not like I've asked her to pay me, but she isn't paying me. So it's like, I don't want to become a total She Scented channel. <laughs> but I could be, because I love She Scented that much. And the last moisturizing hair mask I'm going to mention is the Baskin Blue and Brown Root Hair Mask. So again, this is like a 9 out of 10 for me. I love the moisture. I love the slip. Maybe I don't like the scent as much as she scented stuff. But I'm going to have to give it a little extra bonus points because of all the Ayurvedic ingredients. And you know, I'm trying to get into a little bit of Ayurvedic ingredients. I did buy some Ayurveda, but other than the hibiscus, I've been kind of lazy to really do the mixing. Lazy and busy to do like mixing, so my soap nuts are sitting there, whatever else I have is sitting there unused. I think I bought Amla too. So buying products with Ayurvedic ingredients really allows me to have the best of both worlds. I do want to get back to my DIYing one day. Now I want to mention hair treatments, the Okra Hair Repair Retentive Mask. I mean you already love, or I already love, I'm sure you already love, she sent it for moisture. But her kind of adding a little bit of Ayurveda and come out with a little hair retention stuff. It was just like, take my money. I love it. I want to see more of it. It's just going to make you even better. 
and you're already so great so blow my mind and bring out some ayurvedic stuff don't mind if i do it does have some like garlic and black pepper and other things as well but i like that she's dipping her toe into ayurveda and scalp treatments in general of course it's moisturizing it has great slip it smells great but i love the fact that it's a hair treatment as well so you guys know i love okra and then she has like the garlic and the black pepper and the amla and stuff and I really love where she's going with this. I don't know if it's my main hair treatment because I usually do the chai hair tea for shedding. She says that the garlic should help with shedding. So I have to research whether garlic or green tea, like which one helps with shedding more. Of course, Blue Rose Beauty, I haven't even seen chai hair tea being sold. And I'm not too lazy to steep my own tea, that's true. But I haven't done it in a while. I haven't needed to because I had the chai hair tea. But if that's not being sold anymore, and if this controls shedding, then it's kind of win-win. It's a rising star for sure. This Blue Rose Beauty Chai Hair Tea has like the green tea and the molasses and it really, really, really works for me instantly. By next week, I have less shedding. And I love that it's moisturizing and everything as well. Not sure why this bottle is looking so tragic, but I'm still going to mention this Kill Origin Marula and Kimo Damage Control Reparative Hair Conditioner because it really blew my mind the first time I used it. I haven't really used it much in 2020, just maybe once because I haven't been doing protein treatments that much anymore. I don't feel like I need to if I keep using the conditioners with protein at least maybe every other week or every month for sure and also i'm using the giovanni smoother silk deeper moisture conditioner for detangling and this also has protein this has like hydrolyzed soy protein between using this every week and using like some one of those deep conditioners with hydrolyzed wheat or keratin or collagen or something at least every month i don't feel like i've needed to use like a separate protein treatment so I may or may not continue to buy these, but I did film it and it was amazing, you guys. I just never had a chance to put it out. So I may either show you that real old footage or refilm it and show you. But I really love, like this, this blew my mind. So that's why it's still here. Cause my hair was like this. And then after I like used it, it was like this. Like it just bounced up, bounced back, curled up. It really rocked my world. <laughs> I'm going to definitely try to use it and show you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about with this one. So that's it you guys. Glad I was able to bring this to you. Let me know if you guys use any of these products or what your favorite products from these brands are or what your favorite products for 2020 are. Let's chat what's the best of the best down below. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.